What is a standard penetration test? The standard penetration test, SPT, is one of the most commonly used soil testing methods in geotechnical engineering. It is an in situ test, which means it is performed directly on the ground at a construction site, rather than in a laboratory. The SPT is used to determine the properties of the soil or rock at a site, which are then used to design foundations, retaining walls, embankments, and other structures. The SPT involves driving a split barrel sampler into the ground using a drop hammer. The sampler is typically made of steel and is about 50 mm in diameter and 450 mm long. The drop hammer weighs between 63.5 kg and 63.8 kg, and it is raised to a height of 760 mm before being released to strike the top of the drill rod. The number of blows required to advance the sampler a certain distance, usually 150 mm, is recorded as the standard penetration resistance, N value. The N value represents the resistance of the soil to penetration and is used to estimate soil properties such as the shear strength, bearing capacity, and compressibility. The N value is affected by a variety of factors, including the soil type, density, moisture content, and stress history. The test is performed at regular intervals along the depth of the borehole, typically every 1.5 meters or less, to provide a continuous record of soil properties at the site. The SPT is a relatively simple and cost-effective test, which is one reason why it is so widely used in geotechnical engineering. However, it does have some limitations. For example, the test only provides a rough estimate of soil properties, and it may not be accurate in all types of soils or rock formations. The test also does not measure the strength or deformation characteristics of the soil directly, but rather estimates these properties based on the N value. Despite these limitations, the standard penetration test is a valuable tool for geotechnical engineers. By providing information on the soil properties at a construction site, the SPT helps engineers design safe and effective foundations, retaining walls, embankments, and other structures. What is the standard penetration test for? The standard penetration test, SPT, is used to determine the geotechnical engineering properties of soil and rock at a construction site. It is used to estimate the shear strength, bearing capacity, and compressibility of the soil, which are important factors in the design of foundations, retaining walls, embankments, and other structures. Geotechnical engineers use the results of the SPT to understand the soil conditions at a site and to design structures that can withstand the forces and loads placed on them. For example, the SPT can help engineers determine the depth and size of foundation footings needed to support a building or bridge. It can also be used to estimate the settlement of a structure over time, which is important in preventing damage to the structure or surrounding area. The SPT is also used to evaluate the stability of slopes, embankments, and retaining walls. By understanding the shear strength of the soil, engineers can determine if the soil will be able to support the weight of a structure or if additional stabilization measures, such as soil reinforcement or ground improvement techniques, are needed. In addition to its use in engineering design, the SPT is also used in geotechnical investigations for various purposes such as evaluating the suitability of a site for a particular use, assessing the potential for liquefaction during earthquakes, and characterizing the soil and rock for environmental studies. Overall, the standard penetration test is a valuable tool in geotechnical engineering for assessing soil and rock properties and designing safe and effective structures. How is a standard penetration test done? The standard penetration test, SPT, is a relatively simple and widely used in situ soil testing method that involves driving a split barrel sampler into the ground using a drop hammer. Here's a step by step guide on how the test is performed. A borehole is drilled to the desired depth using a drilling rig, usually a drill truck or track mounted rig. A steel split barrel sampler, 
which is typically 50 mm in diameter and 450 mm long, is inserted into the borehole. The sampler has a cutting edge that allows it to cut through the soil as it is driven into the ground. A drop hammer, weighing between 63.5 kg and 63.8 kg, is raised to a height of 760 mm and then released to strike the top of the drill rod. The number of blows required to advance the sampler a certain distance, usually 150 mm, is recorded as the standard penetration resistance, N value. The sampler is then lifted out of the borehole, and the soil sample is collected and sealed in a plastic bag for further analysis in the laboratory. The test is repeated at regular intervals along the depth of the borehole, typically every 1.5 meters or less, to provide a continuous record of soil properties at the site. In the laboratory, the soil samples are analyzed to determine the properties of the soil, such as its grain size distribution, moisture content, and strength. The results of the standard penetration test are typically recorded on a graph called a SPTN value versus depth plot. This plot provides a continuous record of the soil properties at the site and is used by geotechnical engineers to design safe and effective structures based on the soil conditions at the site. Overall, the SPT is a widely used and cost-effective method for determining soil properties in the field and is an important tool in geotechnical engineering. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.